work an example problem. Here we have the figure PQRST and this is made up of a triangle and a square. So triangle PQT and square QRST where PU is equal to 6 meters and QR is equal to 8 meters. So we need to find the area of this composite figure. So recalling the steps on how to get the area, first is to identify the shapes that make up the composite figure. We have already done that, so we know that we have a triangle and a square. So going to the second step would be using the formula of each shape. So in the previous lesson, we learned that the formula in getting the area of a triangle is equal to one-half times base times height. So let's find out where the base of the triangle is. Examining the figure, we can see that this is the height of the triangle where it is perpendicular to the base. So the base is actually TQ. And looking at this figure closely, we can um, find out that the base is actually one side of the square. So if this side of the square is equal to 8 meters, then it follows that the base of the triangle has the same length. So the base is equal to 8 meters and the given height is 6 meters. So if we multiply 1 half times 8 and times 6, we, this will give us 24 square meters. Now take note that in getting the formula for area of a triangle, it can be simplified like this. So the area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Now, let's move on to the area of the square QRST. In the past, we learned that to get the area of a square, we simply multiply side by itself or side times side. So since one side is equal to 8 meters, then multiplying it by 8 meters, this will give us an area of 64 square meters. Now we are ready to combine the areas of both shapes. So combining the two, we got 24 square meters plus 64 square meters. This will give us 88 square meters. So the area of the figure PQRST is equal to 88 square meters. Let's have another example. Here we have triangle ABC where AE is equal to 16 cm, CE is equal to 4 cm, DF is equal to 6 cm. So find the area of the shaded part. So the pink one, we need to find the area. So can you remember the steps on how to get the area of composite figure? First step is to identify the shapes that make up the figure. So here we have two triangles. They differ in size. So one is bigger than the other. So let's get first the area of the big triangle so that we can easily subtract the area of the smaller triangle from it. If we do that, we will get the leftover, which is the area of the shaded portion. So let's do the area of the big triangle first. Let's identify the base. Now, the base of the triangle is actually this portion. And looking at the dimension, we got 16 here and another 4 cm here. So combining both, the base of the triangle is equal to 20 centimeters. Now, what about the height of the big triangle? So from this side is 6 plus 4, this will give us a total height of 10 centimeters. Now, using the formula for area of triangle, 1 half times 20 cm times 10 cm, this will give us 100 square centimeters. Or simply put, base times height divided by 2. Base is 20 times 10 is 200 divided by 2 is 100 square cm. Now that we have found the area of the big triangle, 
let us now proceed in getting the area of the small, smaller triangle. So, using the same formula, the base is equal to 16 centimeters and the height is equal to 6 centimeters. So, multiplying this by one half, this will give us 48 square centimeters. Now, since we just need to get the area of the shaded portion, let us just subtract the area of the smaller triangle from the area of the bigger triangle. So 100 centimeters minus 48 centimeters, this will give us 52 square centimeters. Third example. PRSU is a rectangle. ST is 5 cm. TU is 4 cm. And PU is 6 cm. Now let's find the area of the shaded part. The first step is to determine the shapes that make up the composite figure. Here we can see clearly that we have a, a rectangle and a triangle inscribed in it. So if we if we will use the same strategy that we used earlier, we can easily get the area of the shaded portion by just simply subtracting the area of the triangle from the area of the rectangle. So first, let's solve for the area of the rectangle. In the past, we learned that to get the area of rectangle, we just simply multiply length times width. So let's find out the length of the rectangle. Here we can use these clues. So we have 5 cm plus 4 cm. So the total length of the um, rectangle is actually equal to 9 cm. And looking at the height, it's equal to 6 cm. So multiplying the two, 9 times 6 will give us 54 square meters. Now, this time, let's get the area of the triangle. So, 1 half times base times height. The base is equal to 4 cm. And the height, is at, the height of the triangle is actually the same as the width or the height of the uh, rectangle. So, we'll use this dimension to get the height of the triangle. So, 4 times 6, this will give us 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12 square cm. So now that we're done getting the area of the rectangle and the triangle, so let's subtract the area of triangle from the area of rectangle. So 54 minus 12 is equal to 42, or simply the area of the shaded portion is 42 square centimeters. Last example. Here we have the figure I, J, K, L, M, N, and O. It's made up of a rectangle, I, J, K, O, a triangle, K, N, O, and a square, K, L, M, N. Now, what are the dimensions? It is given here that I, J is equal to 7 meters, L, M is equal to 6 meters, and NP is equal to 3 meters and IO is 4 meters. So we need to get the area of the entire figure. So first, let's try to recall the area formula for each shape. Here we have a rectangle and we learned before that area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. So multiplying the length, which is 7 meters, and the width is 4 meters, we get 28 square meters. Now, what about the area of this triangle? Base times height divided by 2, or area is equal to 1 half times base times height. Now, what is the base? The base of the triangle is actually uh, the length of the rectangle. So, we will use that clue. So, the base is 7. And the height is given here, which is 3 meters. So multiplying 7 times 3 is 21 
divided by 2 will give us 10.5 square meters. Now, if you don't remember how to divide um, a whole number, an odd number by 2, you can do the long division process. If you will do the long division process, you will have a remainder 1. So we need to rename our dividend and make it 0 0.0 so that we can continue dividing um, the remainder to uh, um, re re dividing the remainder by 2. So the final answer would be 10.5. That's why I got 10.5 square meters for the area of the triangle. Now for the last shape, this is a square. And we learned earlier that the area uh, formula for square is side times side. So since one side is equal to 6 meters, multiplying by itself, this will give us 36 square meters. Now we are ready to combine all the areas of the three shapes. So combining 28 square meters plus 10.5 square meters and 36 square meters, this will give us a sum of 74.5 square meters. Thank you for watching.